Hey everybody, I'm Lindsay Adler and I am so excited to introduce the Westcott Optical Spot. I teamed up with Westcott to produce a light modifier that gives you more control than you can really get any other way. Now this modifier, what it's all about is creativity and control. Like that's what it's for. In fact, you can achieve effects that you probably never even dreamed of from slices of light to the face, textures of light on the subject, environmental textures of light on the background. It's all possible with this one tool. Now I've used this for celebrity shoots. I've used it for portraits, athletes, fine art nude shoots, maternity, all of this. And so what I want you to realize is that this isn't just for a fashion photographer like me, but it's for any photographer that wants creative control in the studio. I'm getting really excited to tell you about this tool, but I didn't explain exactly what it is. So fundamentally what an optical spot is, it's a modifier with a lens on it. And that lens allows you to both project and focus your light. And that's why you can create the tiniest slices of light, or you can actually put in gobos, which we'll talk about to project patterns and textures of light on your subject or the environment. And so with that, I'd like to dive in to the five different variables, five different things that you can change to give you ultimate creative control when using the optical spot. First up is the lens. This lens is razor sharp, and that's what gives us the ability to create those really crisp, really tight slices of light on the subject. But it also has another feature. You can actually focus the lens for the tight, crisp edges, or you can defocus it because sometimes you don't want that really crisp edge. Instead, you want more of a pocket of light, like a little area of light that fades. And so this lens gives you that capability. Now, by the way, this modifier is compatible with Canon EF mount lenses. So if you want a greater spread of light to cover more of the area in your scene, no problem, just pop on one of those lenses. Our next tool for creative control are the gobos. So gobos stand for go-betweens. They go between your modifier and your subject. So this will actually fit into the optical spot. And what's great is that there are endless different gobo possibilities. And with your optical spot kit, you get eight different gobos. And we have several different expansion packs. So for example, if you want texture of leaves that look like light coming through a tree, that is an option for a gobo. Or maybe you're trying to do something that's more film noir and you want the Venetian blinds across the face. Well, that is an option for a gobo as well. So anything you imagine, it can be possible. And that's the magic of the optical spot. You can now project those patterns, those shapes on your subject or the background. All right, the next creative variable for control are the leaves of this modifier. Now, as we were designing this, this was something that I really was insistent upon. I wanted to have the control of leaves because fundamentally the way that I use this modifier the most is to create little slices of light on the face. And in the past, maybe I was dropping in a gobo, but now you can get the exact size, exact position, exact shape of little slices of light by opening and closing these leaves. What's nice is that I can put just a narrow little slice or I can close it down so it's just a tiny little square. In fact, I shot this for a jewelry campaign where I just put a tiny little highlight on an earring. That's how much control that you get. Plus, you can layer a gobo and the leaves. So for example, if you've got a gobo but you wanna cut it in half, no problem, you just close one of the leaves. Now I have a little pro tip for you. When you try this out, how the lens works is it kind of takes the pattern and it flips it upside down and backwards. So what that means to you is if you wanted to cut the light off the forehead, for example, well, you'd actually take the leaf on the bottom and push that up. So you'll have to practice around with this, but you'll be just absolutely thrilled with how much control this gives you. The next creative control you have is the angle of your light, the position of that light. Now, for example, let's say that you have in a circular gobo and you have that light source directly in front of your subject. Well, on their face, it's going to look like a circle. But if you move your light and you take it off to the side, it starts getting oblong, it stretches out. So the same thing is true if you're projecting a light on the background, straight onto the background is going to create one shape, but moving the light off to the side creates a totally different look. So remember, your angle is going to make a difference. The final tool for creative control are the gels. Now gels are one of the most powerful ways when using lighting to control the mood in the scene or direct the eye or to unify the subject with the background. And with the optical spot kit, you get five gels included. And we also have several expansion packs. 
Now, what I love about how we designed this is we designed it so that it can just fit directly onto the front of the lens. So if you want to add even more creativity and even more control to your images, just pop on some of these gels. When designing the Westcott optical spot, we had you in mind. So as we were designing this piece, we we're trying to figure out how to give you the most control, the most creativity. And I based this upon my own experience. So some of the things that we thought about are the fact that how it's designed helps prevent any overheating. Furthermore, you can actually change out the mount. So this can fit on a variety of different strobes and constant lights. So whether you're working in the studio or you're directing for film, this modifier is going to work great for you. Now there is so much that you can create. In fact, literally endless possibilities. And I, I wanna see what you come up with. So be sure to tag me and Westcott so we can take a look at your brilliance and what you create with the Westcott Optical Spot. Can't wait to see.